What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a god? It is Philly. That is Taz. It's the Taz and Philly show, and we are back with another reaction video. What is good, HOG Nation, Hangover Gang? We are back with another Tom McDonald video subscriber request. This looks like it has a music video. It is called Cloned Rappers, and I know Tom has spoke about some controversial things in the past. Uh, we've, we've actually reacted to some of those things, and, you know, I'm always fascinated by shit like this. I've actually gone down this rabbit hole myself, even had nothing to do with Tom himself, but I don't know if you've ever heard about it before, but there's like this um, notion or the possibility that there could be cloned people in hollywood what that basically means is they literally clone somebody of of fame and that way they can use them uh for their own sort of good it's basically like the same person um you know that person could be in more than one place at one time or there's been weird situations where they say they'll like if if let's say somebody gets too big i've heard this this is one of those conspiracy theories that's what i'm, I'm gonna go down where kanye west at one time was was going into like the whole thing where he was talking about like things that you wouldn't want somebody of that kind of um, fame to talk about because he reaches the masses. So by shutting him up, they killed him and they cloned him and they turned him into basically the Kanye that they wanted to. So in other words, they would basically program him to be what they would want him to be and to spit the facts that they would want him to spit and say things that they would want him to say as opposed to the things that he was saying. I don't know if you've ever heard any of this. It's actually very, very interesting. Uh, the Illuminati, a lot of the Illuminati is known to be cloned. Jay-Z has been one that has come up before. Beyonce has come up before. If you ever go on YouTube and you want to look at something kind of interesting, that is, it, it really is. And I'm wondering if Tom is talking anything about this. Uh, I've heard Eminem is cloned. Uh, one of the, th the things about him was, he died from a drug overdose in 2006, and they brought him back as a clone. Because if you've noticed from about 06 till the current time, his music is very different. Now, I know he's gotten older and people grow, but that was one of the things that they pointed to, that right after that happened, after he got cloned, his music was very different. His message was read very different. One of the things Tom McDonald actually said in one of his videos was, old Eminem used to talk about, raping his mom in his fucking songs and then he would say to people later in his music that if you voted for donald trump or you like donald trump that he didn't want you as a fan which is a very very weird like regardless of how you feel about that is is a is a huge jump to say something like that and then be so against say trump on one end so controversial and how he changed his political views over time and people point to the fact that he's not the same eminem so I'm curious if he talks about this kind of shit because uh, it's a very interesting topic, something that fascinated me. I mean, you can argue that it's a um, uh, conspiracy theory or what have you, but it's uh, it's kind of interesting nonetheless. I don't think you have any idea what I'm even talking about, so not sure how many people will. But uh, let me know your thoughts on a song called Cloned Rappers before we get into it. I think it's about cloned rappers. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means another you. Another you. And why would they clone a rapper? Because maybe they want him to be in California and Florida at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> the hell? No. I don't know. Yeah, no. Well, that's fine. Who would want two Jay-Zs? Who the hell not, would want, if they're already successful? Or, I mean, it, it would make, you know, wouldn't it make sense if they were not successful either? It's but. just a way to control the public. When you have an ability to reach a huge majority, a huge fan base or a huge population, when you got multiple million fans, you, if you were just hypothetically cloning someone, you could have them spit out whatever message they want. And the music, a lot of today's music is drugs and alcohol. And of course, what does that do? That dumbs you down, makes you makes you addicted, makes you need 
you know, medication and makes you need uh, pharmaceutical attention before your addictions and it's money and it's government control. It's a, it's a, it's a huge thing. I will bet you, I, I have not seen this, but I will bet you he touches on some of this in here. I really have a strange suspicion that's what it's going to be about. So I'm intrigued. I forgot about where, this one. Where do I win in the bet? Because I'm... Okay, my we, card we, notes. My card notes do. Okay, so you you want to bet me then? We got your card. Oh, it, can it be a one sided bet? No. So let's Never get mind. into it. Let's get into it. Since you have no thoughts, and I brought everything to the table with us so far, let's get I don't into know Tom how to respond McDonald. To all that. Let's get into Tom McDonald. Maybe Clone I'll respond rappers. H O G Nation. <laughs> let's go. Let me put my H O G up there. There you go. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. The Illuminati knows the answers, taking bone samples to clone rappers. But the artists in prison to silence their vision, genetic copies going home after. They look different, eyes shifted, smile missing, skin lifted, it's scientific. If they can't control you, they erase the old you, get your duplication to enforce their message. They clone Gucci, clone Kodak, clone yep. Eminem, he ain't raps his encore, know that. Cloning rappers when they overdose to keep making money from producing more tracks. The game is a sham, turning the artists who challenge to sacrificial lambs. The labels and devils are shaking hands, creating our artists and labs. The executions have been televised, though. They're on TMZ like a night. They take our heroes, give us weaponized clones. The revolution won't be televised. I can't be replicated. Copy the attitude and it chains, but no one will ever do me the same. I can't be replicated. Try to control me, then guess again. Rebellion lives in my DNA. Duplicated, imitated, fabricated, eliminated. No, I can't be replicated. The system designed me to be a slave. I'm the glitch in the matrix that can't escape. I can't be replicated. If they killed the rappers who were spitting truth, they wouldn't have a messenger to reach the youth. So they duplicate physically, implant abilities, replicate tattoos and cloning facilities. Indie contracts say worldwide. Label contracts say universal. For all of time and all forms, they own all your music, your image, your name, and your person. <laughs> Weird, right? I know you don't think that is facts. But for 50,000 and a hair sample, you can clone your dog or your dying cat. It's another way for them to win the war by weaponizing important celebrities. Don't kill your foes, just clone their gods. Then you'll control all your enemies. The executions have been televised. Yes, sir. They're on TMZ like a night. They take our heroes, give us weaponized clones. The revolution won't be televised. I can't be replicated. Copy the attitude and the chains, but no one will ever do me the same. I can't be replicated. Try to control me, then guess again. Rebellion lives in my DNA. See the difference in their face now Casualties of money and the fame Posing for the cameras with that fake smile A clone of someone who they used to be I can't be replicated Copy the attitude and the chains But no one will ever do me the same I can't be replicated Try to control me then guess again Rebellion lives in my DNA Imitated, fabricated, eliminated No, I can't be replicated The system designed me to be a slave I'm the glitch in the matrix that can't escape I can't be replicated God damn Yes, I won the bet See, that is what he was talking about Holy shit, man He was talking about weaponizing fucking celebrities Basically, they don't want you know, people look at celebrities like they're gods. They're, you know, they're they're up on a stage. They can say anything they want and reach this huge mass audience. So if you're going to shed light on things that people don't want you, the, the you know, the, the, the elites of the world don't want you talking about, they will fucking kill you. They will clone you and they will make you be that person they want you to and, and, and spit the, the, the facts that they want you to spit. That's that's. I mean, that's that's a really that's a wild fucking video. And if there's even an ounce of truth of what he's talking about in there, um, it's pretty goddamn wild if you if you think about it, right? Yeah. So, what did you think, Mister Fucking 
You it looked like you just got blown the fuck away. <laughs> I did on live camera. Yeah, that's exactly all right. So guys, I don't, I don't, um, I don't watch a lot of news. News puts me to sleep, and I just hate certain things. So, um, <laughs> so I mean, I've learned a lot through these reaction channels, like because you know everything that's like people like the Tom McDonalds of the world who have who have given informative stuff. Um, so it's it's all a little new to me because like. Most of the things I watch now are either streamed that are already recorded, like, you know, already like through Netflix or whatever, or DVRs and you fast port forward past the commercials. That's me. Uh, so, I mean, I knew the last thing I knew about is that we cloned like the first sheep or something like that. I didn't know that there was a possibility or actuality of cloning actual humans. And now I'm thrust upon this cloning an actual human. Well, I mean, and then the last it, time, you know. the last time I saw clones was on Invasion of the Body Snatchers. But here's the thing: this is what's creeping me out. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I know it's a movie, but when they cloned you, they didn't speak. You didn't know that they were the alter one until they didn't speak and they opened up their mouth, and then you're like, "Oh shit!" But now you're talking about cloning people, and not only are they clones, but they can act and perform like the originals. They might have, like he said, they might not smile or whatever or have a different smile. But the fact that they can walk and talk and move and sing and, and all that stuff, that's creepy as fuck. So, I don't know. It's just a lot to take in. So, I mean, if there's actual fact factuality to this, that's a word, that's scary. Because, like, if you're successful... When are you too successful where they might want to make you the next clone? Like, do you have to literally look over your back? Because I can't imagine like that the original is like, oh, yeah, I'll sign this contract where you can make a clone of me and I'll just go lay low somewhere. Well, or like, are they thrown into like some dark dungeon and left there forever yeah, while your yeah. clone is doing things? I, I don't know. See, this see, this is going to be hard for me to have a conversation with, with you with because you don't know a lot about it. But like, for example... Have you ever heard uh, – Tom's talked about this. Selling their soul to the devil when you go mainstream, right? Like essentially you're selling all your rights off. They control you. They can make you famous. They can make you rich. So it's like what are you willing to risk for that? Like, And if you've ever noticed in a lot of these music videos, mainstream, I'll give you an example. The Sam Smith song, Unholy, was basically like a fucking um, – like, like it was like a like – a, like a devil demonic. fucking, I'm demonic. trying to think what, what you, yeah, like a demonic, it was, it was demonic. And that is what the Illuminati is, the devil horns. And and even like, I, I will get into the Rihanna Super Bowl halftime show as well. But there was some things about that they even talked about that had some de demonic symbolisms in it. You know, the hand over the eye, which is an Illuminati symbol. This goes over, and uh, Lady Gaga, this goes right down the list of a lot of these guys that have used it. You know, the Illuminati symbol, which is the triangle. Jay-Z uses it all the time. He calls himself Rockefeller. Rockefeller was one of the elites of the world that control the world. One world order, one fucking government. Like, there's a... You can go in nine million different directions. This shit fascinates me, but, like, if you don't want somebody with a huge following being saying things that the elites don't want you saying, then they basically silence you, they clone you, they program you to say what they want you to say, and then they put you right back out there again to fucking spit what they want you to spit. And it's like, what is it worth to you? I mean, you know, if, if somebody said to you, you know, like you were trying all your life to get famous, you were trying all your life to get your music out there and it just wasn't working. And one day somebody came to you and said, you know what? I'm going to make you rich and famous. You're going to have everything in the world you would ever want to have. But these are the things that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to give up your faith. You're going to have to sell your soul to the devil, whatever, whatever. How many people would do it? Because obviously yeah, but that's would. different. that's different in the sense that it's the same person like that's selling your soul because you want to be famous sure but you're still the same person but we're talking about making an actual another person yeah but those and, people and are... you're either hidden somewhere or they oust you i'm like that's totally different than well, the same person. right i i understand but the the parallels run together because that's these people that they are doing that with also would, te would have clones too there's there's been like there's been some people that have come out and touched upon it i know jim carrey was one that talked about it a little bit I mean, obviously, I guess they have to be careful in what they say, but I think at the end of the day, there's some things probably out there that we genuinely have no idea about, and if we did find out about it, we probably would be utterly disgusted. So, you know, I, you know, Tom is one of those guys where 
because he's independent, he can get a song like this out there. I mean, ain't, there ain't no way on God's giving earth this song is going to get out there on some fucking mainstream label. So um, I, I think it's it's thought provoking. If, none, if nothing else, it makes you talk, makes you think, but it can certainly make you go down a million rabbit holes. So for that. I thought it was great. I mean, I thought, you know, that song's not something that I would go and put on at the gym, like, per se, but <laughs> it's a it's a thought-provoking song. I thought the hook was cool. I thought the video was actually really, really good. Um, so, overall, I, I liked it, and I thought it would uh, – it definitely makes you think a little bit. Are we voting now? Is that what you were going with? Unless you got more to talk about. No, I got nothing else. <laughs> It's a lot to take in. I mean, it's like, whoa, you're just hearing this like now or whatever. Like, that's a creepy thing because it's like you said, like, it's one thing if somebody sells their soul because they want to become famous, but it's the same soul. But you're talking about making another soul, and then what happens to the original soul? Like, you know, like, is, is this possibly the real Jay-Z that was born as whatever his real name is, or is this imposter Jay-Z, and then the real Jay-Z hasn't been here in 10 years? Like, that's creepy. Um... That in itself is just a lot to process. You can't process that in one video. Like that's a personal thing, off-camera thing that I have to like check into or whatever. But it's informative. Yes, Tom's always giving us information. It's one to think on. I'm not the type of person that necessarily says, "Oh, that's stupid," and I'm just not going to listen to it. Um, I know Tom, of course, long enough through his journey and through his fans to know he's he's not just one that just says shit, you know. So it's something worth. Just checking into, if anything, just to be informed. It does not necessarily make an, a reaction or action to, you know, what much can I do anyway, you know. Um, but it's good to know, you know, if for anything, to keep one eye open, to always, you know. But I don't know. When it comes to that, it's weird. It, it almost reminds me of, like, you know, for years since I was a little kid, there's always these shows about somebody saw Bigfoot. And it's, I still don't know. Is there really a Bigfoot? Because everybody says they see one right as there. a sighting. <laughs> and then You're right you see fucking one, here. You see one in the distance. I got one. I've been like, doing a show with one. <laughs> You're like, is there really a Bigfoot? Or the, Loch Ness, or the Loch Ness Monster? Shut your face. I've been hearing about that since I was a kid. I'm like, is there really a Loch Ness Monster? So right now, that's what my brain is thinking. Like, is there really a clone? Um, is there really a UFO? Everybody claims they've seen one or they've been taken up in one and and I'm like, is it really one? I was like, do I have to wait till I actually see one myself? I don't know, but I don't necessarily say, oh, that's not real, because well, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't go out to the woods looking for Bigfoot, so how am how, I going to just say he's not real? I mean, how many millions of people, or whatever the number would be, have to come out and say they saw something and they all have the same like recollection or account of what it looked like or what it or what it was before people start sort of believing in that? I mean, like you you get these people that had it's the same rendition of what it looks like, you know, what they saw, the size of it, the shape of it, whatever. I mean, when you when you hear thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking versions of this over years and years and years, I mean, it starts to make you go like, okay. And here's the other thing too, and I, I'm not trying to get off on a tangent, but like, you know, the galaxy, right, what like is 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 vast and, and we probably haven't discovered most of it. So for me to think that we are the only life form or life form out in a giant galaxy would be kind of egocentric in my opinion. Like there's got to be something the fuck out there. I'm not saying that aliens like little green men are getting in a ship and flying here, but there's got to be something. There's got to be some truth to that. Just like the depths of the ocean. We haven't discovered fucking more than like 7% of the ocean. You don't think there's something down at the very bottom of that that has never been seen by the human eye that if we would see it, we'd be like, what the fuck is that? Like, I guarantee you there's stuff we've never seen before. So I just think there's more than meets the eye and you know, whatever. It just, uh, we'll do a UFO reaction video soon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> have all these new weird playlists, like UFO yeah. reactions. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm fascinated by I this say. shit though. I like, I, I like, I'm that guy that like watches those Bigfoot things. And I like the UFO stuff and I like the paranormal. Like I like things that, you don't know if it's true or it's not, but you've heard enough people talk about it where you go, it could fucking be true because there's too many people talking about it. Yeah, so, or like the Jersey Devil and stuff like that. Sure. I used to live in New Jersey, and I'm like, where's this devil at? You know, when, I, when I'm when i out at night, <laughs> like, is it real? Like, the day I say it's not real, he's going to be tapping me on my shoulder when I try to get yeah. in the car. 
Well, there so was a one, one point where I, I wasn't sure Bigfoot existed, but then I got to do a show with him. So now I know for sure he exists. Ugh. That's that is Taz Squatch, the Sasquatch. He is <laughs> up in the house. Yeah, he is. Yes. I give you that Taz yes. Squatch. That was, you thought it had all by yourself, yes. too. You, oh. you pick you pick apples off the ground with your feet and you eat them because you yeah, you live in the, you oh, the family. You thought that all by <laughs> yeah, yourself? You little family, you live in the you live in the trees with your family. Anyway, anyway uh, I knew that was let's common. get to these damn yeah. votes. All right, so we're about to vote on uh, UFOs, uh, Sasquatches, and fucking aliens. So here we go. No, it's uh, we're gonna we're gonna rate on Tom McDonald clone rappers. It's ass or pass for anybody new to the channel. Two I hope system. to God there's not another Philly. Oh my God, I can't handle barely one of them. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna rate this tonight. It's. <laughs> <laughs> he is Chrissy Snowed. Uh, you did what you did. I was imitating I didn't, you. Chrissy Snowed. That's whoa, snorting. If you ever saw Three's Company, whoa, shout out. Oh, well, wait a minute. Thank God this is on record. When you go back and listen to that, Captain Snort, you fucking snorted, and I was imitating your snort. I'm sorry, but you did, and you'll, it's on camera, so you will hear it, my friend. And everybody in the comment, everybody in the comments, let Taz know Not how fucking edited. loud that like, was. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> out of that, that was loud as shit. So before he snorts again, it's ass or pass. It's a two rating system. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I will uh, drum roll. He will count to three, and let's get it going. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Bang! Bang! It was, it was disturbing, but it's informative, and I liked it. I like the way he set up the video. Uh, it was creepy. It was like watching the Invasion of the Body Snatchers again. Hold on. Um, and I like thumb. that movie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My, 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 wait, wait. Oh, my other thumb. It's now being cloned. Ah, there's another one. <laughs> Two thumbs. Clone thumbs. No? All right, whatever. So thank you guys for being here with us. We've been recording this reaction for a little over 20 minutes, and we couldn't appreciate you enough for being here. Another great reaction. A thought-provoking, not another great reaction. I, I'm not speaking for us. You have to tell us it was a great reaction. Another great suggestion is what I was looking for. I hope Copy, it was a great huh? reaction, yeah. Uh, you let us know if it was a great reaction. But thank you, guys. It was another great suggestion. Very thought-provoking. Um, and are you done? Are you done? <laughs> I suppose we did our own reactions. How <laughs> sad would that be? Yeah. That was a great reaction. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes. Do our own comments. Thank you so much for us being so great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We are wonderful. But no, we are wonderful. <laughs> we'll be back soon with another reaction video. Another suggest suggestion of yours. Thank you again. It is Philly. That is Taz. It's the Taz and Philly show. And peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>